example, I'm going to discuss how to get the distance between two points. Before we solve a problem, I need to explain it first. The distance between two points show how they are far away from each other, and the formula is the absolute value of x minus y. So, I have a problem to show you which can help you understand the topic. Example, you wanted to go to your grandparents' house, which is 300 meters away to the left from your house. Also, you are thinking of going to your best friend's house, which is 200 meters away to the right from your house. Identify the distance from your grandparents' house to your best friend's house. It is said that your grandparents' house is located 300 meters to the left from where you're at. This means that it is expressed as negative 300. Second, your best friend's house is located 200 meters to the right from where you are. On the number line, if it's going left, it is a negative value. If it's going right, it's a positive value. Since it's going right, it's positive, so it's 200. Now, for the question, it said to find the distance from your grandparents' house to your best friend's house with the formula, which is the absolute value of x minus y. This means that x is going to be the distance to your grandparents' house and y is the distance to your best friend's house. So, negative 300 minus 200, keep flip change, so it will become negative 300 plus negative 200. Negative 300 plus negative 200 is negative 500. Get the absolute value and it's 500. We will now discuss about finding the midpoint in a number line. The midpoint is the point that bisects or divides the lines into two equal parts. The formula for finding the midpoint is x sub 2 plus x sub 1 over 2. Let me show you an example. Your mother told you that you need to go to the grocery store to buy supplies for your home. You were in the building where you work and the nearest grocery store is located at 570 meters to left from the building you are in. After that, your sister called you, requesting to buy medicine for her. The nearest drugstore is 120 meters to the right of the building. Your friend wanted to come with you and you two agreed that you are just going to meet in the middle of the grocery store and the drugstore. What is the midpoint of the grocery store and the drugstore? This one is very simple. So you need to go to the grocery store located 570 meters to the left from the building so it can be expressed as negative 570. And the drugstore is located 720 meters to the right from the building so it will be expressed as 720. So x sub 1 is negative 570 and x sub 2 is 720. Since it's addition, terms with unlike signs will be subtracted. So negative 570 minus 720 is 150. It is not negative 150 because 720 is the higher number. So we will keep the sign. 150 divided by 2 is 75. And 75 is the midpoint. What if I ask you to find the distance between two points in a partition plane? It's a little bit of a challenge at first sight, but it's going to be a piece of cake once I explain the problem. The formula for finding the distance between two points in a partition plane is read as distance is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. What if you are at a 5 star hotel which is located at 2 and 5 on an xy coordinate plane and you need to visit a historical monument which is located at negative 4 and 3 for your project. Find the distance between the 5 star hotel and the historical monument. A 5 star hotel has two coordinates 2 and 5. So first, you have to plot a point. Second, the historical monument has the coordinates negative 4 and 3. And what you need to do is to plot them as well. Next thing you need to do is to identify which is x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. In this case, 2 is x sub 1, 5 is y sub 1, and negative 4 is x sub 2, 3 is y sub 2. Then all you need to do is to put and substitute the right values in the formula. Then you'll get this. The square root of negative 4 minus 2 squared plus 3 minus 5 squared. Next, subtract the values in the parentheses. You'll get the square root of negative 6 squared plus negative 2 squared. Next is 2 squared of values and you'll get the square root of 36 plus 4. Then for the last step, you get the square root of 40 which is 2 is the square root of 10. Now that you understand how to find the distance between two points in a Cartesian plane, we will teach you about the midpoint of two points in a Cartesian plane. 
Don't worry, it's a simple formula you have to follow, which is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. Let's say that a detective must find the coordinates of the vault, which is the midpoint between a mall located at negative 7, negative 3, and a wildlife park located at positive 3, negative 3. Don't worry, this is very simple because all you need to do is substitute. Of course, you have to plot the points first. After plotting, you can proceed to substitution. So we have negative 7, negative 3, positive 3, negative 3. This means that negative 7, negative 3 is x sub 1, y sub 1, and positive 3, negative 3 is x sub 2, y sub 2. After identifying the values, just substitute. So we have negative 7 plus 3 all over 2, negative 3 plus negative 3 all over 2. Just simplify and always remember the rules in adding integers. So we have negative 4 over 2 and negative 6 over 2. Divide. And now we have the final answer, which is negative 2 and negative 3. Then again, plot it. Since you have known about the distance and midpoint between two points in a Cartesian plane, we may start a lesson that could lead to perplexity. Yes, you have heard it right. We will talk about the internal division of a line segment. In this kind of problem, you are looking for the coordinates for point P with the ratio of M is to N. The formulas are x sub p is equal to m x sub 2 plus n x sub 1 all over m plus n and y sub p is equal to m y sub 2 plus n y sub 1 all over m plus n. The sign or point s which has the coordinates positive 3, positive 4 on the x y coordinate plane divides internally the path of the city school or point p which has the coordinates negative 5, positive 1 and the mall or point u with the ratio 2 is to 3. Find the coordinates of the mall. Again, it's pretty simple since all you need to do is to substitute the correct values. But first, let's identify which is which. The sign is x sub p, y sub p with the coordinates positive 3, positive 4. The school is x sub 1, y sub 1 with the coordinates negative 5, positive 1. And the mall with unknown coordinates is x sub 2, y sub 2. Let's proceed with the x coordinate of the missing point. So, x sub p is equal to m x sub 2 plus n x sub 1 all over m plus n. Substitute, x sub p is 3, m is 2, x sub 2 is still x sub 2 because that is what we are trying to find. And this 3 and x sub 1 is negative 5. At the bottom, m plus n is 2 plus 3. Next thing you'll do is to simplify each terms. And you'll get 3 is equal to 2 x sub 2 minus 15 all over 5. Next step is to multiply both sides by 5 since the denominator is 5 and you'll get 15 is equal to 2 x sub 2 minus 15. Add 15 to both sides and you'll get 30 is equal to 2 x sub 2. Both sides have a common factor so what you do is to divide both sides by 2 and you'll finally have 15 is equal to x sub 2 and there x sub 2 is 15. Next is to find y sub 2. Again, just substitute the values in the formula y sub p is equal to m y sub 2 plus n y sub 1 all over m plus n. y sub p is 4, m is 2, y sub 2 is still y sub 2, n is 3, y sub 1 is 1, m plus n is 2 plus 3. Simplify each terms and you'll get 4 is equal to 2 y sub 2 plus 3 all over 5. Multiply both sides by 5 and you'll get 20 is equal to 2 y sub 2 plus 3. Add negative 3 on both sides to get 17 is equal to 2 y sub 2. Next thing you need to do is divide both sides by 2 and you will get 8 and 1 half is equal to y sub 2. And now we have both x and y coordinates. The next thing you need to do is to plot x sub 2 y sub 2 which is 15 and 8 and 1 half and we are done. If we can internally divide a line segment, we can also divide it externally. We do use the same formula but we substitute different parts of the formula depending on the given situation and question. The local store or point L with the coordinates positive 7, negative 1, and the library or point M with the coordinates positive 2 and positive 3 are two known places in the city. 
the traffic light or point end for the two areas divide externally the local store and the library and the ratio 1 is to 2. Find the coordinates of the traffic light. An external division will be having two cases. For the first case, of course you need to identify again which is which. The local store or point L is x sub 1, y sub 1 with the coordinates positive 7, negative 1. The library or point M is x sub b, y sub b with the coordinates positive 2, positive 3. You might wonder, isn't it supposed to be x sub 2, y sub 2? No. The traffic light or point N is the new endpoint since it divides the line segment externally. So point N is x sub 2, y sub 2 with yet unknown coordinates. Now, with the formula, again we'll be using the formulas x sub p is equal to m x sub 2 plus n x sub 1 all over m plus n and y sub p is equal to m y sub 2 plus n y sub 1 all over m plus n. Let's start with the x coordinate. It's all the same, you just have to substitute the correct values. So, x sub p is 2, m is 1, x sub 2 is still x sub 2, n is 2, x sub 1 is 7, and m plus n is 1 plus 2. Next is to simplify each term, and you'll get 2 is equal to x sub 2 plus 14 all over 3. Multiply both sides by 3 and you'll get 6 is equal to x sub 2 plus 14. Add negative 14 on both sides to get rid of 14 on the right side and you'll get negative 8 is equal to x sub 2. Now for the y coordinate. With the formula y sub b is equal to m y sub 2 plus n y sub 1 all over m plus n, let's identify the values. y sub b is 3, m is 1, y sub 2 is still y sub 2, n is 2, y sub 1 is negative 1, and m plus n is 1 plus 2. Simplify and you'll get 3 is equal to y sub 2 minus 2 all over 3. Multiply both sides by 3 and we get... 9 is equal to y sub 2 minus 2. Add positive 2 to both sides to get rid of negative 2 on the right side and we'll get 11 is equal to y sub 2. Now we identified x sub 2 and y sub 2 for case 1. Plot negative 8, 11 and it's now complete. Now let's proceed to the second case. We'll be doing the same procedures except the values will be changed since we are going to be extending the line segment on the other side now. This time the library is the new endpoint and this means it's x sub 1, y sub 1. We're still finding the coordinates of the traffic light so it's going to be x sub 2, y sub 2 still. This remains the local store point L to be x sub b, y sub b. Now for the x coordinate, substitute the correct values in the formula x sub p is equal to m x sub 2 plus n x sub 1 all over m plus n. So x sub p is 7, m is 1, x sub 2 is still x sub 2, n is 2, x sub 1 is 2, and m plus n is 1 plus 2. Simplify each term and we'll get 7 is equal to x sub 2 plus 4 all over 3. Multiply both sides by 3 and you'll get 21 is equal to x sub 2 plus 4. Next is to add negative 4 on both sides to get rid of positive 4 on the right side. After that, we will get 17 is equal to x sub 2. Next is the y coordinate. Substitute the correct values in the formula y sub p is equal to m y sub 2 plus n y sub 1 all over m plus n. So y sub p is negative 1 m is 1, y sub 2 is still y sub 2, n is 2, y sub 1 is 3, m plus n is 1 plus 2. Simplify each term and we will get negative 1 is equal to y sub 2 plus 6 all over 3. Multiply both sides by 3 and you'll get negative 3 is equal to y sub 2 plus 6. Next is to add negative 6 on both sides to get rid of positive 6 on the right side. And we will get negative 9 is equal to y sub 2. After identifying the coordinates of x sub 2 and y sub 2, next is to plot it. Plot 17, negative 9, and now we are done. <laughs>